What, you think I'm stupid? You think I'm just going to read one fear-mongering article and leave it at that? No, nah, I'm going to read them all. And that's why I know it ain't just about covering up where you think you need to cover up, where it's mandated at the shops. It's about doing it in the car. It's about doing it at home. It's about doing it where you're not being selfish. And that's why I know when I do the proper research, it ain't about just covering up here. Yeah. What's going around at the minute can also get in your eyes. So that's why when I'm driving, I like to be extra safe and not just wear a face mask. I've got a full covering, which means that I can cover completely up when I'm driving. There ain't many of us, but you know, when you see another person covering up in their car, gives you that special type of feeling, look over, give them a nod. You know, the only time I'm going to lower my covering in the car is to smell my own fart. If you do your own research, you're going to discover that when you put your radio on too loud, it blows air at you. Yeah, that's selfish. Keep it down. All right, think about your safety wherever you are. Don't play the music. There was a guy who recorded a lovely lady and it actually really inspired me because she had a go at him for being too close in his car to her car. I was like, why would you record something like that? She's just being safe and responsible. So it really inspired me. And that's when I started to have a look into petitioning about having safe distance between cars. And I got that special feeling again when I realised that we're already doing it. We're literally spending millions of pounds to convert cycle lanes and put in special traffic systems that back up the traffic. But that's a small price to pay when it comes to safety, is it not? All of these things are already being put in place just to keep us extra safe. Amazing. And just to think, all of this was just meant to be temporary as long as it's about safety eh ta ta